Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use XAMPP server on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for XAMPP. And the first link which will appear here will be from apachefriends.org. So we are going to click on this link. And once you are on this uh, XAMPP website, you will be able to see the download button for XAMPP for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So we are interested in the Windows version. So straight away you will be able to see this uh, XAMPP for Windows option. So just click on this, which is going to start the download of this XAMPP windows.exe file. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to minimize my browser which is going to start the XAMPP setup window. So first of all you will see this kind of warning. Do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app so I'm going to click on yes here. Now you can see the setup window is going to start. Now first of all it's going to show you this kind of warning which says important because an activated user account control on your system some functions of XAMPP are possibly restricted. So just ignore this warning for now and then click on OK, which is going to start this setup window. And then we are going to click on the next button here. And XAMPP server is going to come with all these tools. So it's going to come with Apache server, MySQL, uh, FileZilla, FTP server, Mercury mail server and Tomcat and languages which are supported by XAMPP server is PHP and Perl and the program languages are PHP MyAdmin, Webalizer and Fake Signed Mail. So I want all these uh, components so I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on next and this will be the location where XAMPP will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location just leave it as default and then click on next and then you can choose the language in which you want to install XAMPP server. I'm going to select English here and then click on next and then click on next. And at this point it says, how do you want to open this? So I'm going to select the browser of my preference, which is uh, Google Chrome and then click on OK, which is going to start uh, this kind of uh, web page here, which says, say hello to favorite applications on XAMPP. I'm going to minimize this browser and then click on next here which is going to start the installation process of XAMPP on my Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And while the installation process is going on, you will also see this kind of warning. So I'm going to just click on allow access at this point. So after some time, you will see this message which says completing the XAMPP setup wizard. And here you will also see this checkbox which says, do you want to start the control panel now? So I'm going to leave this checkbox as checked and then click on finish, which is going to start the XAMPP server on my Windows 11 operating system. So you can see the XAMPP server control panel window has been started. You can also open the XAMPP server from the list of all these apps on your Windows 11 operating system. So when you uh, will scroll down here, you will be able to see the XAMPP server here under XAMPP folder. Okay, so you can see this is the control panel which is opened right now. So you can always uh, go to your Windows start uh, menu and then open the XAMPP server from here. Once the XAMPP server is started, you will see this kind of window. Also, you will be able to see uh, this icon which is created here, which is for XAMPP server. So it also indicates that XAMPP server is running. So on this XAMPP control panel window, you will be able to see all these modules, the Apache module, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat. And you will be able to see uh, some button in front of all these modules. So the first section is for the start button or the stop buttons. And then the next section is for the config button. So you can uh, configure all these modules using this config module. 
and you can also see the individual logs of all these modules so if they have any errors you will be able to see in the logs right so let's start the apache server first of all so in front of apache i'm going to click on the start button which is going to start the apache server right once the apache server starts you will be able to see that uh, here you will be able to see the green color around this apache that means everything is running successfully once the apache server is running you will be able to see uh, the stop button for stopping the apache server you will also see the pids so using these pids you know on which pids this apache server is running so if you want to force kill the apache server you can use these pids right you can also see the config and logs which i'm going to cover a little bit later you will also see these ports so these are the default ports on which the apache server starts so if by chance these ports are not free on your windows 11 operating system then your apache server is going to show the error and i'm also going to show you how you can solve that error but first of all uh, our apache server is running on port 80 so we can go to our browser and then here i can just write uh, local host and then press enter and if you see this kind of window that means apache server is running successfully on your windows 11 operating system and it's working fine right so you can see i have opened the local host on which apache server is running and it has uh, opened the dashboard on the apache server so everything is working fine for the apache server also in this uh, uh, web page you will be able to see this php my admin so when you click on the php my admin it should open the php my admin window but for now it's not going to uh, show you the php my admin window and it's going to show you this error why it's showing this error because we haven't started our mysql server here right so you can see mysql is not started so we have to start mysql in order to uh, see the php my admin interface so let me just click on the start button here and then i'm going to click on allow access here and now you can see my mysql server is also running on port 3306 and i can stop this uh, mysql server at any time now my mysql server is running so i'm going to refresh this web page once again for php my admin and you will see that this php my admin window and it's going to show you this kind of interface that means uh, your php uh, my admin uh, is also working from here you can create databases you can run sql queries and do many things related to your database right so that's running now remember i have told you that if this port 80 is already occupied on your windows operating system by some other service this apache server is going to show you some errors so first of all how you can check which ports are already occupied on your windows 11 operating system so xamp control panel comes with this netstat tool so when you click on this netstat button it's going to show you the list of all the ports which are occupied on your windows 11 operating system so you can see port 80 is occupied right now by uh, my apache server but let's say if it's occupied by some other service it's also going to show you the name of that service right similarly you can see mysql is running on port 3306 and you can see all the other ports which uh, are occupied on your windows 11 operating system with all these services right so let's say this port 80 is already occupied so i want to change this port of apache server so for changing this port you just need to stop your apache server first of all and then click on config here so for the configuration you can choose the first option which is httpd.conf file so i'm going to click on the first option 
which is going to open this kind of file so on this http.conf file just scroll down a little until you see this listen keyword right so you can see the default port right now is 80 I can change this port to something else so let's say I want to change this port to port 8080 right I can also change this but it will not uh, change anything because you can see this uh, line is commented right so you need to change this port in order to change the port of your Apache server and then just save this file by pressing Control S and then you can close this file once that's done you can once again start your Apache server so click on the start button and this time you will see that now the port of Apache is changed to port 8080 in my case right so this is how you can change the port now once again when you go to your browser and type uh, localhost here this time it's not going to open because now our server is running on the different port right so if the port is 80 on your windows operating system you don't need to provide any port information on the browser but if you change the port from port 80 to some other port in our case we have changed it to port 8080 i need to add this colon and then add the port number in my case it's port 8080 and then press enter and then only it's going to open right so you need to write the port number after the local host in order to open this uh, web page if you changed the port here so the port should be similar which is visible here on this browser after local host similarly this php my admin is also not going to work right why it's not going to work because you guessed it right you need to add colon 8080 after the local host and then press enter and then it's going to work normally right so if you change the port here you need to change the url also here so this is how you can download and install and use xamp server on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video